Hey gang! Um, the reason my nails look so shit can be found in the previous video. Um, today we're doing a baby boomer. I was going to use sheer pink in Alaska, but I do change that, which we'll get to in a min. I'm doing a coat of the first base. This is for a press on set, so it will just give it a bit of extra strength. Um, and now I'm doing a coat of sheer pink, but I realised that because this um, nail tip was a so-called natural coloured tip, um, the sheer pink isn't going to cover it enough, it's not going to cover the whiteness of it. Um, if it was clear, maybe then the person's natural nail would um, would add to the pinkness, uh, but obviously it's a bit white, so I took that off. Gave it a buff and a dust. Obviously, the base coat's still there, so that's fine. Um, and then I'm going to go in with Ballerina. Excuse my voice, I'm having another allergy day today. I'm all fizzy and snotty and disgusting, and my eyeball feels like it's going to fall out my head, and then my head's going to explode. And yeah. Um, so that's Ballerina. I did a coat and then cured. I don't know why, I can't remember the. The logic behind that. <laughs> um, I'm now doing a second coat and uh, not taking it all the way down to the bottom because we're going to pop the Alaska at the bottom and we're essentially doing an ombre um, where the ballerina is, a sh is has a shimmer in it and um, you have some like vertical brush strokes in it so I'm going to make sure that I take the ombre right up to the top. I'm gesticulating like a lot over here but you can't see me <laughs> um, so that we don't have the vertical brush strokes and then obviously the horizontal from the ombre um, I'm being kind of rough with it for this first coat but then we switch that up for the second coat um, I'm going to leave that for a sec just to let the brush strokes sort of blend back into each other so here's the second coat um, what I mean by what I just said was that if if, for example, if you had a blob of gel polish on a table and you ran a brush through it, it would kind of, it would join back together. So when we do the ombre, before curing it, I leave it for a sec and then give them, give those brush strokes a chance to join back together. So you still have the blend, but you don't have the brush strokes. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm sure it does. Um, and I probably should have been a bit lighter with this second coat and I wouldn't have needed to have done a third. But on the third, um, I'm ahead of myself. Normally I'm behind myself. How has this happened? This is voiceover attempt number three because they've just been an incoherent, babbling mess of garbage um, that made no sense whatsoever. Uh, making sure you get the sides there. I'm just touching, touching the sides to make sure that I haven't missed any blending bits. And again, just giving that a sec before popping it in the lamp so that the lines uh, merge back together. And with this third coat, uh, I'm going to use the very tip um, of my brush, of the brush that I'm using for the ombre. So I'm not indenting the wet layer too much. So I'm not going right to the bottom of it. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it um, so that the indents we're making are finer therefore they will kind of back together that's the word i'm trying to describe <laughs> um you know what i mean you know i'm sure you do uh so using the very tip there just to finely and gently um obviously this is sped up uh, blend them together again make sure you get the sides and then leave that so give that a beat before putting it in the lamp as in give it a sec for the for the brush strokes to disappear don't like beat it up you know what did it ever do to you jeez uh and then that will go in the lamp mm, it, you can't see the pink as much on camera as you could in real life um so that's been cured and now we are topping with diamond gloss of course of course someone's looking on the window oh fuck that scared the shite out of me um and then that will have a cure, and that will be all she wrote. Hang on a sec. I'm bloody doing the fucking voice over. Uh, don't know why I'm holding up to my own nail there, pretending I'm a lady. <laughs> 
So this is going to be part of a press on set and not for anyone in particular, just one that I'll do and then sell on. Um, wasn't sure whether I was going to use pink or blue, but I had some foils ready. So subscribe to my channel and you won't miss the video because I filmed it. So that'll be the next one. Uh, and there's loads more to watch on there as well. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.